So most of you are probably familiar with Diptyque's Philosophus or Premier Figuier from the House of L'Artisan Parfumer, but there's a whole world of perfumes out there featuring the fig note, and I'm going to cover that today in today's video. It's a top 20 list. I'm not going to feature these two. I'll talk about it. But uh, there's 20 fragrances here that are really, really great fig fragrances and ones that I'm really, really enjoying as of late. So find out about fig fragrances coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian. Yes, today it's a top 20 fig fragrances video. And most of you are probably familiar with these two. There are several others as well. I'm leaving these two out because they are the most popular, but I wanted to mention them. If you like the idea of fig and you know these two and you want more, you definitely want to stick around. These two didn't really go fruity for me, and there are some fragrances here that go uber fruity. So you might like that about the fig, because fig is a fruit after all. But typically they focus on the leaves and the tree, and sometimes throwing in the fruits as well. So I'm going to let you know my favorite fig fragrances, 20 of them in a rank list today. But before I get to the fragrances, if this is your first time tuning in and you haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so that you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. How many of you are fans of fig fragrances? You know, I'm a fan because I grew up in the Mediterranean. This was a prized fruit for us. We loved to eat it. And I used to play under fig trees and pick the leaves and, you know, get that fig sap on you. It's all sticky, milky. And a lot of these fragrances will feature those kind of notes in them. So let's get started. We're going to go to the house of Bastide and it's Fig Amour, this one right here. Fig Amour is a figgy, fruity, and also green sandalwoody kind of an experience. And a lot of the fragrances for figs are going to feature sandalwood. I think it's a given that they want this kind of creamy milkiness to appear with the greenness of the leaves and definitely this one has it but in addition to the fig fruit and bergamot there's sandalwood coriander musk pink pepper woodsy notes so this one doesn't get uber fruity but it does it also doesn't get uber green and woody like the leaves of the fig tree but i think it's a nice balance of uh, all these notes together it's definitely cozy. It's got that sandalwood creaminess. So Bastide's Figamore is the first fragrance at number 20. Moving on to number 19, it's Parfums du Sida Le Pavillon d'Or. This is a very interesting woody take on fig and it's a different direction. It doesn't smell anything like any of the fragrances here and if you're looking for the fig leaf note in a fragrance or a fig note and you want something a little different, it's a unique fragrance experience with that fig leaf note but it features oak, fig leaf, orris, thyme, honeysuckle, baronia, heliotrope, mint. It's very unique to throw the mint in here with these flowers, the honeysuckle and the baronia, and then you've got this powdery touch from the orris, and then the fig leaf, leaf comes in as well. So, Ducita Le Pavillon d'Or is number 19. This next one is a great aquatic take on figs. This is Jacques Fat and it's Vers La Soute. Uh, Vers La, La Soute is what I should say. Uh, if you like the idea of a marine experience, let's say for example you're walking along the coast, there's this big fig tree and there's this water crashing and waves crashing and you can smell the sea breeze. That's the kind of fragrance this is. It's actually quite nice, but sadly it's ended up here because I like some of the other ones a lot better. But this features notes of sea notes, fig leaf, lemons, oak moss, floral notes, and lavender. It's a great combination of notes. You do experience a little bit of the citrusy touch. And then, of course, some flowers come in. But for me, it's all about the fig leaves with the sea breeze, the sea notes. So that's a Jacques Fat Vers La Soude. This next one's from the house of uh, Lorenzo. A Pazalia. It's Adam and Eve's dress. This one right here. Once again, lots of figs here. This is utilizing everything from the fig tree, including the fruit, the leaves, and the tree itself. So it's uber green, bitter. You can experience the bitterness and the, that kind of bitter smell of the, the tree. If you've ever hung out under a fig tree, you would know this smell. It's a very, very unique smell. It's definitely captured here. In addition to those three notes, you've got green notes, jasmine, there's milk, woods, and tuberose. And I mentioned the milk, the fig milk, or the milk a fig sap coming from the tree. If you've ever picked it, just make sure you you feel it because it's a very, very sticky experience and you can kind of experience that sappiness, the milkiness here along with all the greens and the fruits. So Lorenzo Pazzaglia, Adam and Eve's dress is at number 17. All right, moving on to the House of Carner, Barcelona. It's Fig Man, this one right here. And this one, once again, this is definitely very cucumbery. It has a very crisp, ozonic experience and I think there's loads of marine notes in 
here, but it's the fig fruit along with the fig tree, marine notes, bergamot, violets, cardamom, tonka beans, and patchouli. So they mention violets here. I'm picking up the violet leaves variety of violets here, not the variety, but the violet leaves, because it throws in that ozonic crispness like cucumbers, because I get a very cucumbery experience in this one. But of course, it's the fruit and the tree itself. Very green, and of course, you've got that sea breeze marine note kind of an experience here as well. Fig Man from the House of Carner, Barcelona. It's a great fragrance for sure. I was going to leave this one off, but I think I've grown to love this one even more as of late. I, I left off a lot, and I'm going to do a bonus section, and you'll see what I've left off, including the two uh, fragrances that were pretty much the, the ultimate in fig fragrances. This is Aqua de Parma's Fico de Amalfi. This is a fruity take on. It's like uber fruity. For me, it's like major fig fruit. And I like that. It's the fruitiness with this freshness. And then you've got some greenness in there along with citruses like grapefruit and bergamot and yuzu. There's also lemons with cedar, jasmine, and pink pepper. So there's a little spice here and some floral touches, but it's definitely very citrusy take on fruity and green figs. So Aqua de Parma, Fico di Amalfi. I love that. It's really, really great. Uh, so, yeah, it's ranked, so this is how I'm feeling the, the list today. This next one's from the House of Dior. It's Ballade Sauvage. This is also a very unique take on figs. It's minerally, it's an aldehydic, it's solar, kind of sunny, sunshiny. It's just imagine this kind of a very minerally, kind of ozonic, metallic experience with figs. You've got this fig tree growing here along the coast once again, and there's this kind of like very interesting minerally smell in the air. So it's fig tree, fig fruit, solar notes, aldehydes, marine notes, peaches, labdanum, and pebbles. What do pebbles smell like? Stones maybe? Something like that but it's a very very unique take on fig fragrances check it out Dior Balade Sauvage at that number 14. The next fragrance is going to the house of uh, Parfums and Nicolai it's fig tea. Fig tea is a very fruity take on figs and it's utilizing osmanthus so you get that kind of peachy apricotiness in here loads of it. Anytime you see this note in fragrances, just imagine fruits and mostly st stone fruits like the peaches and nectarines. It's prominent here. There's also fig fruit. There's a little green touch from mate. There's artemisia, coriander, jasmine, and amber. It's a fun fragrance. For me, this is a fun fragrance. Almost, uh, not almost, a little more fun than th this one here. I feel like uh, the osmanthus has an overdose of fruitiness here. So fruity fragrances to me are always uh, fun fragrances. I don't know if if you guys get that experience as well. I do. And it's definitely a fun one to wear in the summertime. So Parfums de Nicolai Fig Tea is at number 13. This next one at number 12 is also a classic, one that I've worn quite a bit of and I'm kind of circling back to it. I need to pick up a bottle in the newly rebranded brands uh, packaging and bottles. It's Goutal Paris's or Anique Goutal's Ninfio Mio. Uh, a great sandy take on figs. If you like the idea of sand and a little milkiness, definitely try this one. It's figs, galbanum, woods, citron, lemon, bitter orange. So it's very, very citrusy, but there's definitely something milky, sandalwoody, sandy kind of an experience with the bitterness of the galbanum in here. They're not really saying it's fig fruit. I don't get much fruitiness. I get mostly greenness in this one. So it's obviously the leaves they're talking about here. So it's Gutal Paris Ninfio Mio. Any fans of that one, do let me know. Moving on to the house of Wilhelm Parfumery. This is Purple Fig. This is a really yummy fig fragrance take on green and also fruity. You've got green fig here. You've got Angelica. You've got Galbanum, Cedar, Vetiver, Sichuan Pepper, Jasmine, Cashmere Wood. So eventually it gets musky, a little ambery in the dry down. There's floral touches. And I get fruits here, but it's lots of greens. It's an overdose of greenness and it's fresh, very, very uber fresh to wear and definitely worth checking out if you don't know this particular fragrance. If you like green figgy fragrances definitely try Wilhelm Parfumeries it's a um, purple fig and moving on to the house of obvious parfums this is Unfig this one right here so this one is a unique take on fig that for me when I wear it it settles to a beachy fragrance which I was like wow that's kind of unique because this fig fragrance also has marine notes but I like it's dry down there's 
definitely like a coconutty dry down and I'm assuming there's sandalwood here even though they don't mention it because there's definitely a very creamy smooth kind of beach like I said a beachiness and I think because they have the marine notes and all the other notes together creates this kind of an accord but it's immortel with fig marine notes rosemary yellow tangerine amorous vetiver and eucalyptus it's very very delicious obvious parfums un fig check that out if you don't know it I highly recommend that one this next one's from the house of essential parfums it's fig infusion at number nine this is also a really really great new fig fragrance it's definitely cozy and smooth another note that I'm seeing pop up a lot with fig as a note in fragrances is tea this one definitely has black tea and then also there's mandarin orange sandalwood orange blossom benzoin clementine freesia and cedarwood so it is a very cozy smooth experience I feel like like, there's definitely like a milkiness in here and I think it's because of that sandalwood note and uh, as I was mentioning earlier there's this kind of fig milk fig, fig sap kind of a deal but there's loads of citruses here and a little bit of floral touch with lots of woods so check that out it's fig infusion from the house of essential parfums uh, a great house if you guys don't know about that house and um, I'll be doing a video on the whole entire collection very, very soon with a full review of, of Fig Infusion, so stay tuned for that. So this next one from the house of mise en -Cire is Uber Sharp. It's so sharp and metallic, it's cool and crisp, very, very refreshing and a frosty kind of an experience. This is Cologne du Figuier from the house of mise en -Cire. Features notes of Ambroxan, Cetalox, Musk, Fig Leaf, Galbanum, Bergamot, grapefruit it's so sharp you can cut through it can cut through because uh, like when I smell it it's very very metallic and ice cold icy kind of a fragrance so if you like these kind of fragrances for the summertime when it's hot outside you want this kind of frosted kind of an experience uber sharp metallic with lots of musks here there's loads of musks here definitely try mise en -Cire's cologne du figuier it's definitely a green experience and bitter as well but uber metallic and sharp. So check that out if you don't know it. I highly recommend that one as well. But this next one's been a love for me since probably around, I don't know, 2013, 2014. This is from the house of Le Labo. It's Te Noir 29. So good. So yummy. This smell is amazing. This is one of the best fragrances from this house and I adore it to death. This is figs, cedarwood, tobacco, vetiver, hay, bergamot, and bay leaves. Some people say there's rosiness here. I don't know, maybe there is, but it's definitely very, very bay leaf forward. I, I really like this note. It's bay laurel, but lots of figs with tobacco, and then of course, hay and bergamot as well. Le Labo Te Noir 29, are you a fan of that one? This next one's fairly new. It's from the house of BDK Parfums. It's Gris Charnel x -Ray. I'm featuring the x version, and I feel like there's more figs here and even though I almost left this off it is definitely not just about figs but there's loads of figs here it's the fruity kind so I wanted to feature it in this particular video it's lots of patchouli and vanilla with fig there's iris there's black tea cardamom cystus labdanum tonka bean cedar and vetiver see there's that tea again tea and uh, figs really really work wonderfully together I think they complement one another and creates for a kind of a smooth creamy kind of an experience I think this does a great job together with those notes together it's definitely a lot more intense than any of the other fragrances I'm talking about and also as I said it's not totally about figs but definitely fig is here and it's pretty prominent so BDK Parfums Gris Charnel x uh, a wonderful wonderful fragrance this next one is a surprise hit for me I really love it uh, and I'm featuring it at number five it's Panouge Patchouli Fig what a combination works so wonderfully together it's patchouli fig leaf amber fig milk cacao jasmine pear, rhubarb, cedar. So I feel like chocolate covered figs is a delicacy in Europe. I can hardly find them here. And this kind of takes on that characteristic because patchouli has a chocolatiness and there's also cacao here. So I just feel like it's kind of like a chocolatey gourmandish kind of patchouli fig experience. Really, really yummy. There is that kind of like faint reminder of something like Angel as well from Mugler, but this is super delicious. Patchouli fig at number five. Wow, it's so good guys, check that out. At number four, it's from the house of Chabot, it's Fleur de Figuier. So at one time I was a big fan of uh, Joe Malone's uh, Fig and Cassis. They discontinued that, although they brought it back, it's a boutique exclusive or online exclu exclusive. I left it off because this is my alternative or replacement for that fragrance, because it comes really, really close and I really love the way this smells. It's fig leaves, conifer, cedar, 
lavender and sandalwood. It totally reminds me of it. It just reminds me of standing under fig trees, you know, smelling it, smelling really earthiness, the greenness. There's a little bit of dustiness because those leaves attract dust a lot. And then maybe like faintly smelling some of the fig sap or fig milk as well. It's super, super really yummy. So this is Chabot Fleur de Figuier. Check that out if you don't know it. Moving on to the house of Javoy. This is L'Arbre de la Connaissance. Very, very difficult uh, name to say, but this is a very, very intense fig uh, fragrance. This is fig fruit, fig tree, green notes, citruses, sandalwood, and patchouli. Definitely has a creaminess, definitely has a greenness, and fruitiness. There's definitely lots of greens here. And it has, you know, a faint amount of citruses as well, but it's really, really great smelling fig fragrance. It's a fruity and green combo, and it also has great longevity. So L'Arbre de la Connaissance from the House of Javoy. Uh, wonderful fig fragrance. Nobody talks about that one. It's definitely not one of the really popular Javoy fragrances, but it's definitely really, really great. Next, going to the house of Profumum Roma, it's Icnusa. Another great fig fragrance, another great long with great longevity. And I find the Javoy and the Profumum uh, Roma's fragrance, Icnusa, have somewhat similarities, but I get more green experience from the Profumum Roma and less fruitiness and the Javoy obviously has fruitiness. But this is fig leaves, fig tree, myrtle, grass and hay. It's uber green, smells fantastic, love the way this smells. It's like you're walking in a fig forest. That's what it smells like. Icnusa from the house of Profumum Roma. Wonderful fragrance. And this next one has become my number one fragrance from the house of Amarud. It's silver birch. So beast mode. This one is uber beast mode and it smells fantastic. I love it. It's papyrus, fig, orange blossom, suede, vetiver, cardamom, and jasmine. So I would wear this in the summertime. It's a, kind of a fresh experience, but an uber intense fresh experience because fig fragrances I wear in the summertime. If you like that idea and you want longevity, this is definitely one for you to try. It also smells really, really fantastic. The combination is really, really amazing. I love it. So Silver Birch from the House of Amarud is my number one favorite fig fragrance right now. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching today's video. Let me know what your favorite fig fragrance is. Did, do you know any of these ones in this video? Put a comment down so I can find out. Stay tuned for a bunch of bonuses after the outro. Other than that, thanks so much for tuning in. Please like this video, please share it, follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one, goodbye. And I've got a bunch of bonuses as I was saying for you guys. This has just landed in my lap and I'm going to talk about it. I'll do a video about it very, very soon. This is from the house of Mancera. It's Fig Ecstasy. You guys know this one. This to me, I think I put somewhere in between the Javoy and also the Profumum Roma. There's a bit of a fruitiness, but the intensity is kind of matching the Profum Aroma and the Javoy, but there's more amberiness and woodiness here. It's a complex take on figs, so I'll be reporting back more about this one very, very soon. Since I already featured a Wilhelm Parfumery fragrance, I wanted to leave this one as a bonus. Basilico and Fellini, a unique take on Figs, it's basil, dragon fruit, fig, violet, vetiver, green hay. Very interesting. For me, it's a very citrus aromatic kind of an experience, but more with fruits and violet and, uh, you know, vetiver and things like that. So, Basilico and Fellini. This next one is one of my very first fig fragrances. It's from the house of Hermes. It's Un Jardin de Mediterranean. I really love this fragrance. I left it off because I speak about it quite a bit, uh, but it's very, very sweet and it's fruity, but also very, very green and leafy. It's got orange oranges and juniper berries, orange blossom, oleander, and bergamot. Really, really yummy fragrance. Uh, check that out if you don't know it, but I speak about it a lot. This next one's from the house of Shea and Blue, Dandelion Fig. This one's a very, very t interesting take on fig. It's tomato leaf, so it's got lots of greenness here with the fig leaf, so tomato leaf as well, so it's kind of bitter with lemongrass, dandelion, and juniper. Very interesting fragrance. Check that out. If you like the idea of tomato leaves, you've got to check that out because it's like a major dosage of tomato leaves along with that fig leaf note. So this next one's from the house of Molinard. It's fig. A lot of you know this one. It's a very fresh one. To me, it's a little faint, but I really like it in the heat. In the heat, it just comes alive. It sweetens up. It's fig, lemons, green green leaves, cedar, black currant. There's a 
definitely a fruitiness here. Musk and amber wood. A great scent. Check it out. Also, this one, it's Pulp. It's a love it or hate it fragrance from the house of Byredo. You know, they just got bought. Did we already talk about that? <laughs> but this is a very interesting, it almost smells like rotting fruit. If you guys, if you like that kind of an idea, check it out. It's figs and red apple, bergamot, black currant, TR flower, praline. Very interesting fragrance. If you don't know it, do check it out. And then finally, I already discussed these two, but Diptyque's Philosophus and uh, Premier Figuier from the House of L'Artisan Parfumer. They're definitely kind of coconutty, milky takes on fig, and there's no fruits here, both of them. They're both created by Olivia Jac Jacobetti. The L'Artisan in its Eau de Toilette was launched in 94. The Diptyque in its Eau de Toilette was la launched in 96. I have a review for these two in comparison on the channel. You can go find it. But if you like this idea of coconutty, milky kind of a fig experience, check out both of them. Uh, and, you know, it's interesting that Olivia Jacobetti makes a fragrance for L'Artisan and then turns around and two years later makes the same or similar fragrance, not the same, similar fragrance for Diptyque. Go figure. Anyway guys, thanks so much for sticking around. Have a good one. Bye.